Okay, so I just got done watching the the WWE 2K15 reveal. Biggest fucking ripoff in my life. I have never seen something like that. Yeah, a lot of the rosters are great. A lot of the superstars are in there. But for fuck's sake, put some people in there that we haven't seen. I mean, Stone Cold, The Rock, and Sting, and Hulk Hogan are pretty good. Why not, why not put people back in there from like last year's game? You know, like Andre the Giant. All those legends that we saw. And it really got me disappointed. Bring back some more divas. Yeah, put, put, put Eva Marie in there. Who cares if she can't wrestle or fight? I mean, if Paige is going to be a downloadable content, yeah, that's fine. But fuck's sakes. Put in some, some legendary divas. You know, put Trish Stratus back in there. Put Lita. Stephanie McMahon. Even some of the old divas. I don't care. Like Kelly Kelly, Candice Michelle, Tori Wilson. All those, all, all those divas. Biggest fucking ripoff I've ever seen. To the showcase, you know, the showcase, to the, two of them so far, hopefully there's more, is Shawn Michaels and Triple H, and John Cena and CM Punk. Those are good. But if they don't add more, that's going to be one of the biggest fucking ripoffs of all time. I would like to see matches in there of Austin and The Rock, WrestleMania 15, 17, or 19. Undertaker and Kane, WrestleMania 14 or 20. Fuck's sake. And uh, Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Anyone. Put in a lot of showcase matches in there. That would be terrific. But with the lack of divas and a lack of legends, it's nothing I'm, I'm pretty happy about. Last year's game was good, but just lacked divas. A lot of the legends were great, but I wouldn't mind if they made an actual mode, Undertaker WrestleMania mode, where you would have gone through all of Undertaker's personas and fought each victim at WrestleMania until losing to Brock Lesnar this past year, which I think was a huge fucking disappointment too. Or even, you know... I wouldn't mind a pay-per-view mode back in, but what? But just to make the long story short, I might get it. You know, looking at how how you know the, the characters I like to see in it. But for fuck's sake, lacks a lot of superstars, lacks divas and legends. I'm gonna get it. Try it out, see what it's like. If the downloadable content comes back later, you know, with a lot of cooler looking, more, more divas, you know, and stuff like that, I'll be impressed. But right now, I'm still on the verge of getting it. I will, I will buy it eventually. But 2K15, so far, in my opinion, is probably a 5 out of 10. I don't know what else you people say about it, but that's my opinion. Talk to you soon.